In today's video, I got back a lot of cards from PSA. What's up guys, we are back with another PSA return video. As you can see, you can't see much. That's because this is a massive box right here. Like, look at this. Yeah, it used to be a label there, but wow. Insane large box. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way while we do the giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition cost down for Dark Crisis, Snatch Deal original print, well, not original original, it's like a 2003 print, because it's a spell card. And then Guy of the Fierce Knight original LLB. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what's your favorite card in this PSA return. I don't even remember what I put in here, Kind of an unknown PSA return, but there are like 85 cards, I think. And I think a lot of them are actually pretty nice. And if you see anything you're interested in, everything in this video will be listed on my website, ruxon34.com. We also have some other cards over there as well, as well as sealed products. So if you're interested in any of that, go check out my website. You can potentially buy any cards that you would like, assuming they haven't sold already to somebody else. All right, we have, uh, they're actually numbered one through four. So we have four of these boxes. And uh, I guess that means that we can just go start with one. I don't know, as I said, what's in here. I really can't remember. We actually have a second PSA return coming. Like, I already have it, so you'll see this video very soon. You're going to see another PSA return in the next couple days. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of PSA stuff coming up. Really excited because I love doing these bulk returns. I think this took, like, I'm probably going to pop, I'm going to pop up on the screen when I when it actually got submitted to PSA so you guys know how long it's been. I feel like it's been three to four months. I don't know exactly. It hasn't been extremely slow, but it has also not been super fast. This was the $15 bulk rate. And the $15 bulk rate was $15 per card, plus, like, shipping and insurance and everything like that so keep that in mind okay first card i don't know what are we going in the right is there there's not even an order the, look at the numbers that's a 332 versus 280 yeah these aren't even in order so i don't know why they're numbered uh first card Ooh, a psa 10 dark magician girl secret rare from dark side of dimensions very nice i pulled a lot of these cards i remember i was just putting them in a pile i don't remember exactly which ones i pulled i don't know if we pulled that one we probably did to be honest all right one card in we have a wardrobe change what will our second card be let's see Ooh, an eight on the utopia i've had this card in my psa pile for a long time like i've had it and then i just pull it out and then put it back in i pull it out so i feel like it must must be the stamp i think i even pulled this out of ots 17 whenever that came out so like a couple of years it's been in my pile uh wasn't really worth grading i guess getting an eight let's see oh wait what are we doing let's make our stacks eight ten the nines it can go right there let's see Speaking of nines, we have Rear Yoku, the sacred cards. I remember a lot of these cards being minty, but I'm sure we'll get some nines, eights. You know, it's PSA. We'll probably get some sixes at some point. Just expecting it. But I have high hopes for getting some tens. Let's see what we can get. We have a, oh, our Gotham's emergency call got a nine. So this was straight out of the uh, Turbo Pack 4 booster box that we opened. Booster box isn't the right word, but box. Let's see. We have a, okay, Degenerate Circuit. That's an ultimate rare, yeah. Those are, oh, I bet the ultimate rare on the back is probably showing. There's a little bit of scuffing, but that's usually just on the case. I think that is. Because we. I think we pulled that card. We have a, oh, no. Was this a centered one? No, it got a nine. The Pequeno Moth. How'd this get a nine? Oh, you can't, you can't do this PSA. This is my card. You got to give this a PSA 10. Maybe some edgy, edge wear right there on the edge, maybe. Oh, so I think I have a nine and two tens now, I think is what I have. Well, well that'll be two nines, I think. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Okay, DD Designator First Edition. Got a nine. So a lot of nines so far. We have one ten, so... Not going super well. Back looks super clean there. A nine. I'll, okay, is this a nine? Is this a nine sub? I hope not because this was not cheap. You know, when you do like 80 something cards at $15 each plus like the shipping and everything. Not cheap. Uh, we have a Harpy's Feather Duster and eight. Okay, this might be one of those returns. Hopefully it'll turn around though. We have a lot of cards, you know, maybe just start a little rough. It's okay. Okay, nine on that. I think the center of the back is pretty bad. So a nine on the Chaos Command Magician First Dead. One ten so far. Okay, we get a 10 on the Green Baboon Defender of the Forest. So the secret rare cards were doing well. Green Baboon is just a promo, not super expensive. It's like a $1 card before you grade it, but it's a pretty cool looking one, retro pack. So that's why I figured I'd throw it in. All right, let's see. We have a Majestic Star Dragon. We pulled this out of the 10. I thought it looks good enough to at least attempt, but the you can see on the top, the edging on these promos is sometimes kind of iffy. So PSA none on that one. Lava Golem Retro Pack. We pro I'm guaranteeing we pulled this at some point. So Subtle Hollow Retro Pack. Sometimes has some weird stuff on the edges and on the on the back surface. <sighs> of course, this one didn't get a 10. Lois Alternative would have been a nice 10. Okay, not great. I think I have a PSA 10 on my website right now if it hasn't sold. 
Another nine on the Gotham's. Okay. Not too much to get excited about right now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Debris Dragon. Turbo Pack 4. PSA 10. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is an interesting one because it's very playable in Edison, so a lot of its value comes from there. So it's kind of weird, kind of weird like a new card, but it also is from a rare tur Turbo Pack, so that should give it some value. But that's kind of one of those niche ones, kind of like Champion Pack. Still, that's a pretty nice grade. Definitely our best one so far. That one got a 9. Okay, 9 on that one. That one could probably get cracked. Let's see about this. Three at nines on the Goddams Emergency Call. Okay, I guess we didn't. That was all three that I pulled, so. Oh well. An eight on. The maximum gold, the quality control was not great on maximum gold, so. Not really shocked there. I thought that one looked good, but you never know. Back looks good there. Oh, there we go. That, that might make up for the Petite Moth. Perfectly ultimate great moth. PSA 10. I don't have this one, so. Now I do. That's nice. This one. Oh, yeah. Not everything will be for sale. Like stuff like this, I'm probably going to keep, but most everything will be for sale. Uh, moth, probably not either. <sighs> oh, that doesn't make up for it. Two nines. One of these was perfect. I don't remember which one it was, but one of these was a PSA 10. Oh, that, that's disappointing. Two PSA 9 Pecania Moths. Honestly, the most disappointed on those two cards. Okay, if I have to give a satisfaction grade, right now I'm at like a D. Like maybe a D plus. So like, it's not like awful, awful, but it's like, this is not starting off well. So I'm hoping that we can turn that around. The perfectly ultimate gray moth and the uh, debris dragon are good. So that's, that's really nice. I can't complain about those. Next card, we're on the next box, by the way, box two. Majestic Red. Oh, these promos would have been so nice in PSA 10. Nine is, nine's cool, I guess. Let's see. Oh, the jet dragon. This thing was clean. Some of these nines would get 10 if I tried it again, I think. Okay, let's see. We have a, oh, okay. Ghost from the past, really tough to get a 10. So not really surprised that I got a nine. It would have been a really big 10. Uh, okay, that's that's fine. Nine st stacks taken over as usual. Oh, an A. We pulled this. Dark Magician Girl. Maybe is there a little nick up there on the top? There might be, actually. I think that might be a nick. Okay, that would make sense. Um, oh, okay. Mizzou the Soul Eater. Unlimited. Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's cool. I must have pulled that one. That's why I put it in there, I guess. Yeah, I bet I bet I pulled that one. That would make sense. Why it's so minty. All right. Oh, PSA 10. We'll take that. Oh, I really want a 10 of this. An A duster. Oh, that's rough. Those dusters look pretty good, too. Okay, nine Pharaoh Servant, pure first edition. Oh, that would have been so nice. All right, that's not bad. Ulti Unlimited, nine. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, don't know. Can't see anything on that one, but you know, that's just how it goes. Let's see about this next one. Another nine, Blaze White Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see about this. Come on, give us a 10. Oh, the Ghost Ray Pull. Every time I pull one of these, I get an eight. I grade and I get an eight. Man, it looks beautiful though. Look at that. Wow, that's a nice PSA eight. Okay, anything in that middle? That's gotta be in the case. That's classic PSA residue. Okay, all right, well, uh, we have five ten so far. Not a great start. An ulti ultimate insect level five. I think we pulled this. There's a little stamping going on, which we've seen. It's not consistent if they take off for that, or at least it must be something else if it's not that. Draco Queese nine. All these 10 promos are not coming in clutch. Let's see. Come on. Oh, these things look absolutely immaculate right out of the pack. And also just like super clean on the back as well. Even with those tiny packs, they sometimes have back stuff, but blue eyes shining. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Minty. Minty cards. This is the usual, you know, send in a bunch of minty cards. You get some of them in 10, a lot of them get nine. Uh, okay, another nine. Uh, it's just, it's just how it goes. Let's see what the next one is. Retro pack two injection fairly with the uh, foil bleed as well. I don't, yeah, you guys can see it a little bit there and that's pretty nice, but a nine. Okay, centering is bad on this one actually, look at this. Yeah, centering's bad, that's a nine. Okay. Oh, there we go. First edition magic jammer. Do I have this? Yeah, I do have this. So this will be a duplicate, so I don't, need to keep this one so this one will be for sale magic jammer that's a definitely a big card first edition metal raiders one of the worst ultras you know in terms of matt you know magic not magic ruler, metal raiders but still pretty solid that's that's not bad okay let's see what else we have here solemn judgment ulti got a nine okay yeah ulti's pretty tough let's see what else Ooh. First edition Fire Princess from Labyrinth the Nightmare. I feel like this is not super high pop. We're gonna have some pops on the screen as we're going. You guys can see if there's a low pop card. That might be one of them. I remember this being a harder one to grade. A PSA 10 Fire Princess. That's pretty good. 
Okay. All right, that's pretty nice. Graceful Charity PSA 10. Okay, we're picking it up. That's a few good ones. That's a few good ones. Magic Jammer, Graceful. Okay, the old school cards are doing well now. Let's see if this can bring us back. Wild Edge, nine. Okay, sure. All right, like halfway through, or right before those last five cards, my satisfaction grade was down to like a D minus, but after those last three, we're up to like a C minus. Like that, that turned us around a lot. That was really good. All right, so we're doing okay now. We're up to like eight, seven tens. It's a little better. Let's see what we, I mean, out of 80 something cards, I'm hoping we get 20 at least and there's another one silent swordsman level five that is a sweet card that green and that secret rare one of the best looking cards out there like ever in general that's just amazing okay this is this is doing better dark bright boom okay that's just the ultra so got a nine none of the elemental heroes really coming in clutch for us uh evels or lagia we pulled this in our every pack opening number two uh pretty cool card unfortunately no 10 there asian english oh celtic guardian that we pulled Oh, a 10. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I thought when I saw this centering, which is really bad, back centering doesn't matter so much, but I thought when I saw that back centering that we would be in trouble, but okay. PSA 10. Pretty cool. I guess the back's not that important on that card, at least. Seems like it was on the ultis. Um, let's see about this one. Speak. Oh, I said, all right. I was like, yeah, they're not giving the elemental heroes. Elemental hero glow Neos. We pulled this card unlimited out of strike a Neos. We'll take it. I'm going to make a second nine stack actually. So it's not shadowing the cards there. So the middle two are nines and then eights and then tens. All right. We're doing well now. Uh, DD scout plane. Yeah, just, just a nine. First deads not doing so well right now. Reload unlimited dark revelation dude. We pulled this one maybe in our every pack opening as well. Okay. We're getting some tens. We're finally catching up. Oh, Force of the Breaker, Volcanic Doomfire. I decided not to sell these raw. I'm glad I didn't because Volcanic Doomfire is a very cool cover card. I think I have two of these in here. Let's see if we, we probably got a nine on the next one. Oh, Sinister Serpent. It's not the Volcanic Doomfire. Wow, we are picking it up. Satisfaction grades going way up. Feeling really good about this now. Sinister Serpent, great go card. Okay, nine on the on Dark Magician Girl. I have gotten a few of those in 10. I don't know if I have more than that. Ooh, Kinetic Soldier, more game promos getting 10s. That's awesome. Okay, we've almost caught like the, the half nine stack. Niwatori. Killing us on the commons right now. What does that mean again? Can't remember. Let's see what this one is. We have a Blade Knight. Oh, is this an error? No, it's Dark Beginning 2. Okay, not an error 10 promo, just a Dark Beginning 2. They look exactly the same. Oh, Doomfires. Both of them got tens. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're up to like three. We're up to 16 tens now. Okay, that's a lot better. This has been a really good box. Slate Warrior 9. Okay, that would have been a cool 10. Okay, more nines. Okay, and Draco Quest the 10 promos. We just we're not we're out of luck on those. Oh, that's a good one. Valkyrian the Magna Warrior. PSA 10. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. We are on fire right now. There's our six. I told you it was coming. Uh, excellent to mint six. We pulled this Black Luster Soldier, I think. So there must be like a bend in it or something. All right, that can go in the crappy pile. A six, not too exciting. Let's see about this next one. Okay, Neo, Neo Galaxy has Photon. I think we pulled this. That's another nine. Uh, we definitely slowed down, but we had a lot of tens in this one. Hero Signal. I think we pulled this as well. Another nine. One more card in the third box, and we're on to the final box. Oh, the gate attack. This is a classic card for me. Playing it in my uh, my old school just beat down deck. I love the cards like just any trap card that would stop an attack. All right, final box. We had a decent return so far. At, was it C minus after the last box? I think we're up to like a B. I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Uh, if this one can finish like that last box, I'll be extremely happy with this. Here we go. Another nine on the 10 promos. That's just expected at this point. We have a... Oh. That might be the one I got upcharged on. I got upcharged on one card, I mean, for 15 bucks. Uh, it was this or the Magic Jammer problem. That's a big card. That's like a few hundred bucks. That's a big one. Karibo, I do already have that card. So that will be available on ruxin34.com, but that's a that's sick. I'm trying to remember where that came from because I don't think we pulled that. I'm not going to lie. This Karibo artwork is so nostalgic to me. It's such a classic card. I mean, obviously from the anime, but just I remember looking at this card, his little pie eye, you know, Pac-Man pie eyes, whatever you want to call them. So cool. I love that card. Okay. Uh, anybody can, can you guess what this one is? Wing Dragon or all? We have a nine on the GBI, just an ultra. So it's not that crazy, but it's so pretty nice. We have a, okay, Chimera Tech Overload. Not Overload, Chimera, Chimera Tech Overdragon, different. Okay. Okay, we pulled this, the Gladiator Beast Alexander. Sure. Yeah, decent. Just a nine, though. OK, we have a humanoid worm Drake. I graded this because it's a short print. I didn't get a single common 10 so far. Oh, there we go. 
There's a good one. There's a card I wanted in PSA 10. The Oni Tank Ruxin 34. I do not own this. Well, now I do. Pretty amazing. An armor tank possessed by a fiend that will pursue enemies until they're crushed. That's me. I'm the fiend. Okay. Very cool. Oni Tank Ruxin 34. Awesome to see that. Oh, and a Neo Galaxy S Photon PSA 10. Looks like that is a not unlimited, but still really cool. All right. Pretty good here. Dark Magician Girls. So getting nines on those, unfortunately. Blue Eyes Ultimate, okay. Would have been cool, but you know, that's from the Ultimate Edition. They can't, they're packaged weird. Oh, I wanted that one. I wanted that one, Magician of Black Chaos. I don't have that card. Ooh, Ruin Queen of Oblivion, Dark Revelation 4. So I pulled this out of Dark Revelation 4. It was our only like hollow pull. I mean, they're hard to pull hollows. There's only two packs, but I was like, I gotta grade this because those were expensive packs. Okay, a few cards left. Venominin, Ultimate Rare. Just a few left. Oh, first ed, Diabolus. We pulled this one. I thought it might be able to get a 10. Pretty nice card. Unfortunately, just got the nine, but really, really solid card. A lot of decent stuff. Uh, okay, Dark Nephthys. Yeah, 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 nines. At least we're not getting a lot of sixes and stuff. That's good. Uh, oh, yes! Another one of our classic channel cards. Niwatori. Yes, we got, we got Petite Moth already. We didn't in this sub, unfortunately. We got Oni Tank Rocks at 34 and Niwatori. Let's go. That's super sick. I'm hyped about that. Pretty cool Niwatori. Sujin. That would have been really, really solid. PSA 9. We have four cards left. Let's see what's left. Sangin. Are these all going to get nines full set? Let's see. Yep. Full nine set. Okay. Kazujin, Sujin, Sango. Those are really nice. I thought they might get tens, but it's still pretty solid. Two cards left. Oh, flare Metal. That would have been so cool. First dead. Just got a nine. Okay, last card. Overall, pretty happy with the sub. It turned around. I don't know if we got to 2010s or not, but we got around that area, 25-ish percent, a little bit less than that. You know, that's just kind of the standard. A lot of these cards, I think, are really nice, but that's just how it goes. So you might, if you get a nine, you might be getting a nicer card. Not going to guarantee that, obviously, but... Oh, Trap Jammer and Magic Jammer in the same sub. That's pretty cool. Trap Jammer, overall pretty good. If you guys enjoyed the PSA return, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com if you want to pick up any of these cards. We have another one coming very soon. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Dax, Search, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu Guan 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.